if India knows about mixed martial arts, it's thanks to the efforts of this one man, Daniel Isaac. A pioneer of the sport, a mentor, and above all, coach to me. Thank you, dancer, for bringing MMA to India. Why does somebody train in MMA? Because they want to get a job? Because they want to pursue a career as an instructor? Uh, because they want to do self-defense? Well, most probably not. Because if somebody is training in in mixed martial arts, the usual reason, the most probable reason, is because ultimately they want to become a champion of professional MMA. People get into MMA because they want to go into that cage and they want to become that superstar. They want to become that professional champion. They want to make a career and make a living as a professional fighter. So I would say that uh, MFN 1 to 5 was kind of establishing process. From MFN 6 and 7 is when they kind of uh, switched gears. And I think they started moving to the top gear with MFN 6 and 7. Everything seemed to have upgraded from the you know, the professionalism of the athletes uh, to the way that the teams and the fighters um, disciplined themselves at the weight cut. You know, we had very less red flags uh, during the first two days before the weight cut. So I think professionalism is at an all-time high now. Um, so we know that that exists already. And so now we can expect more quality fights. And because there are more international fighters on the card, automatically the Indian fighters are now required to now bring their A game. No more it is that the Indian fighters can say, you know, it's us. Now there's somebody else that they have to look up to. There's someone else that they have to um, work at where levels are concerned. So definitely MFN 6 and 7 has um, upped the game of the sport in itself and so MFN 8 again till now is going to be according to me the best pro MMA show till date in India.